Hello, my dear formless friends. <laughs> formless friends. You know, it's funny, it's difficult when you're in form. Physical body, astral body, mental bodies. When you're in form, it's hard to perceive yourself or understand yourself or know yourself as formless. But when, if you think about it, and I hate to use the word think, but if you observe or take a look at this, understanding that anything that is of any type of creator has to be formless. You can't have a formed, limited individual creating the infinite. It's impossible. Only the infinite can create the infinite, meaning it just keeps going. And this is what NASA and some of the scientists are now saying. The Big, the big Bang Theory is, is pretty much gone. That now that they discovered so many hundreds of thousands of galaxies, they've decided basically there's no beginning and no ending. <laughs> and that's it, because in something that's total, you cannot have a beginning and an ending. And that's difficult for the mind your mind and my mind to conceive because our individual minds are extremely limited. They're formed. And you have a mental body of that. And these are formed bodies. Or there, there are individual expressions that's more formed, I would say, than consciousness. So when you get to who you really are, that which is listening to me, that which is watching these videos, that individual behind those eyes deep within you, that's the formless. That's who you are. That means you are one incredible being, doesn't it? So again, switching your viewpoint from looking as you as a physical human looking to some omnivorous, omnipresent being, when you quit thinking, your, your attention automatically moves to being the infinite being, and you're looking into creation, the finite, the formed. The formless always forms the formed. Funny enough, right? Anita, Anita, Anita from Bonnie, Scotland. Made me cry. But uh, thanks, honey. Appreciate it. This is a beautiful soul. Another spiritual being that said, you know what? I'm not going to live the way I've been living. I'm going to pick myself up. I'm going to empower myself. And I'm going to pick myself up. And I'm going to win the day. And she did. MS. Good job, honey. Now, keep working in upper circ brain and nerve. Make sure all the brain lesions are gone. Get that sinus. Keep all everything moving up in the head area. Get those adrenals uh, up and strong and charging and holding charges. That will get the myelin sheaths holding charges. Everything will start getting work on that GI tract. Keep moving yourself to Wellville, Wellville, Wellville. Even though you're, you're, you're free of this, keep going. Keep strengthening the nervous system. Keep strengthening the adrenals, which feeds the nervous system. Neurotransmitters. You know, all these things. Make sure your blood pressure gets up to that 120 or close to 120 over 60. If it's still hanging around 100, 115, still too a little low. You want to be build that up and build that up. Well, to build your blood pressure up is to work on the kidney and adrenals. That's the controller of the blood pressures. So, uh... Good job, Anita. Good job, honey. And that's for everyone out there. Good job. Good job on that. So, uh, my love to you, sweetheart. Did a good job on yourself. Good job. And that's, that's an individual watching, and thanks, Tom, for helping her. This is an individual that's watching our videos, and these are educational videos. I sure hope you use them as that. And look at what this individual's accomplished for herself. And we have thousands and thousands more. 
I mean, you look at Rita and you look at uh, all of them. All of you beautiful souls have done so much on yourselves. You can't even name everybody. There's so many beautiful souls of you guys that have helped yourselves. Cool stuff. That's what it's all about. Get out of the suffering mechanism and have some fun on this rock while you're still here and learn how you get off and stay away and into some higher, more exciting and, 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 and more uplifting and, um, and non-warring and, and more love in, in other areas of creation than here. Just remember, you, you are the one. You are the power of your own world. If you give it away, you give it away, but you're still the power of your own world. Your mind is a big deceiver. It likes to deceive you of truth because it doesn't even know itself. It's, it's a formed instrument. It's, it's literally impossible for the finite, which is the formed, which is the limited, to understand the unlimited, the infinite, the formless. Very difficult to understand that. It's like trying to understand energy. You know, when quantum physics comes back and it says, well, we have now can can show and demonstrate that all life is nothing but frequencies of electromagnetic energy. We get that. We also get the fact that these frequencies of electromagnetic energy converts itself into atoms and then into chemistry. We get that. But what's about the intelligence part of this? And that's exactly what quantum physics has come up with. It says now we can prove in quantum physics that energy has intelligence. Now, how do you apply a intelligence and a consciousness and awareness to the formless, to that which you cannot see. See, so man here chases rainbows, the illusionary concept of the formed. And so you're always seeking the formed for the answers. And the answers are not in the formed. This is the effect. Kind of like a symptom of a tumor isn't the cause, it's the effect. And so it, the same thing I'm teaching you guys about looking and addressing the cause of why you have symptoms, you have to also understand who you are causatively. And by doing that, you move into God consciousness. I'm going to tell you, Chilas have taken lifetimes to work on this. Uh, went under gurus in India for, for years and years. Look at Buddha sitting under a tree for how many years and finally realized, well, just me anyway and I'll get up and do something. <laughs> you know, after a while, you, you start to realize, wait a minute, it's just me anyway. It's just a... Uh, and so, this is a fast track to higher consciousness. If you just learn that simple movement from the shift from thinking to non-thinking and observation, you will have made it. And let me tell you, that's what it's about. Then you can play here don't care about what you play with and enjoy this place without it strangling you and, 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 and filling you full of fear and depression and everything else. It says, hello, I am hoping this goes to Dr. Morris's questions that he gets on YouTube to answer. It did. I am a 24 year old female. Five foot two in height. Whoa! So we know immediately she's at five foot two. We know pituitary right off. Because the Homo sapien is probably in a feminine side, five, seven, five, eight, maybe in Homo sapien lore. You start getting into the five sixes, the five fives, the five fours. I start to see a little pituitary involvement for five two for sure. My sister's only five foot, five foot one, maybe the most. And uh, definitely pituitary involvement. And I have mild scoliosis. See, so what we're looking at here is a pituitary issue that is now sitting down on her parathyroid gland, uh, if not a parathyroid weakness on top of that weakness. It could be either way. You could have a parathyroid weakness genetically, or uh, that area on the bowel wall that be weakened in that area, or again, uh, you know, pituitary down, then shutting down PTH, which is the parathyroid hormone that uh, that. Uh, 
is needed for calcium utilization. At the same time though, remember this, is that when you're getting scoliosis or you're seeing any type of mutation of connective tissue or skeletal tissue, that acidosis always is present because that's what removes the calcium and structure, the matrix. It affects matrix and then of course it can blow back on the cell itself. So that's the problem. And of course, out of matrix is where the body can steal calcium to fight acidosis. And indeed it does. So this is why you see the bone spurs on the spine and everywhere else, of course, and stuff like this. So for sure, you want to move lymph. You want to get into that kidneys and adrenals. And of course, that when you're looking at this, you, what brought down the, the pituitary? And again, you're going back to the GI tract. So you have to have a little bit of a chronic transverse colon to have a pituitary down. So again, you can pull your eyes there, sweetheart, and take a look at that and, and see that connection there. Uh, a lot of times it'll also give you insomnia. It'll give you the pineal weakness with it. A lot of times when I'm doing eyes, I sound to see the pituitary. Here, here, here goes down the pineal with it, and they're not far apart. And filling the sinuses full of mucus is no help to any type of resurrection of that. So that's why sinuses have to be cleaned and everything has to be moving to clean these interstitial spaces. So again, blood and lymph moves freely around the cells, collecting waste and feeding the cells. Simple stuff to think about. And scoliosis is, as you're seeing on this, many people have corrected their scoliosis on this site. And of course, I do it in the clinic all the time. That, 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 that's a beautiful thing to see. My question is, but if you don't, it's not beautiful. Uh, my question is, how do I strengthen out my spine? You don't have to. Your body will do it. Quote, first, 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 100% raw. You know, you're not talking about regeneration of the human body from some of these highly acidic degenerative states with just eating a few uh, vegetables and some cooked foods and stuff, huh? not on your life. You're talking about taking your body into these high levels toward the formless. Energetically speaking, you're taking your body to the highest energetic levels this planet offers you in terms of consumable foods. Your fruit is the highest electrical energetic food on the planet, that, that and berries. So you can't get higher, but we are the highest species on the planet. If you, if you want to use the word highest over, you know, denoting duality high and low. So of a higher, uh, a species of a higher order and a higher consciousness requires higher foods, not your lower putrefactive protein type foods. It lowers your consciousness. It pulls you down where fruits and you guys are feeling that already. I know I see it in you. You're already getting a buzz just eating your fruits. And it'll buzz you. You'll feel like you're having a buzz on just eating a, a life of fruit. It makes you happy. It makes you excited. You know, how should we live life here? Depressed and unhappy and hurting everybody? I don't think so. But it is the other side of God. Remember, take a coin. There's two sides of a coin, right? You got the front and the back. Well, that's creation. And they're all, and that coin is from God. So God has two sides to itself. Thank God its dominance, I hope, is on the positive or on, or on that base side, you know. But, you know, these are areas of, I don't know how you'd ever come to that awareness. You'd have to get into, totally into some of these high states of pure consciousness. Which glandular do I need to take and how often and what dose? Okay, so what I would do is head off after the detox. I'm talking kidneys, adrenals, bowels. You're going after your lymphatic system and you want to go after your bowels. About, uh, I would say if you want to go fast, but I would give it about a month on this. And I do the first kit and deworm yourself. And about a month into this, I would add to my protocol the pituitary herbal formula. And I would add, hitchhike with that, I would add a parathyroid, 50 milligrams. That's a, the strength we've got, had them made for us. And I would probably, with a scoliosis case, I'd do two of those three times a day. And I'd hitchhike that with a bones formula or a superfood two, which is extremely extremely high in calcium and I would hitchhike those th that way and then I would just stay raw and move myself up to the fruit side and still de keep detoxing and don't worry about it and you'll see your spine pull itself so you'll wake up one day surprised we ah. 
I'm, I'm serious. I don't think we've ever failed with the case of scoliosis, to be honest with you. If anyone's out there having a hard struggle with that, stay 100% raw, dig into the lymph because your lymph is, is influencing the muscle pull. And then, of course, you've got your weakened structure and, and bone matrix. So you're after all these sort of things, and you have to think about that to tell you the truth. You just have to fix your body's digestion, absorption, uh, utilization, and elimination. Remember the four processes that are essential to being in Wellville. You have to digest your foods properly. Right? You have to have a proper pH duodenal. Now, you don't think about that. The average person says, well, is my duodenal pH about age so I'm, I'm trypsin and, and amylase and tylen are activated? No, no one's going to think that, and we don't want you to over get too intellectual about it because, again, that can pull you toward the narcissistic side, that can pull you toward, it actually can pull you off beat. A lot of people start adding and getting little things, and they pull, finally find themselves pulled completely off track. Then you have to pull yourself back on track. I've done that many times myself, you know just the nature of this world, the nature of the mind, and the conditioned mind. It's like a record. Once you cut a record, those grooves are cut. You know, how do you break them? That's for a good another spiritual talk, how you break conditioned thinking. But the most important way is to pull back from thinking, period, because if you can't learn how to, to just become the observer, it's going to be tough on you because the mind, it loves thoughts. One thought after another thought after another thought. And pretty soon you are nothing but continual lines of thoughts. And all of them are conditioned and prone to be moved and changed and everything else. When you're able to stop that, it's like wakening up. Oh, oh eh, I've been thinking too much. Whew, worn out. That sort of thing. Believe me, been there myself many times. So that's kind of what I would do here. Now look at this. Now this is this is this is telling your story, sweetheart. This is telling your story. Because as she moves on here, she says, "Which glanders do I do?" I also have fibromyalgia and depression. So the depression, sweetheart, is linked to the parathyroid. So you're lucky there. You can fix that depression right off. That that's the parathyroid gland. When you're not utilizing calcium, guys, that's depression. And that's parathyroid gland. Easily fixable. Depression is easily fixable. You might also want to get the fungus out of the body. It very contributed to depression. Now, fibromyalgia. Basically, you have systemic what? Stagnation of the lymphatic system. That's how you get inflammation head to toe. You're systemically inflamed. You're systemically acidic. And there's no fun in this. And this isn't good. You know, this is fibromyalgia, lupus, Lyme syndromes. These are all the same stuff. Systemic acidosis. Some have too much uh, sulfur in their bodies. Some have too much this, too much that. One affects the rheumatoid factors. One affects some other factors. Doesn't matter. That's the illusionary game that medical doctors are lost in when you treat them both the same. Are all, all of them the same. And not meaning treat them, you go after them and eliminate these acids out of your body the same way. doesn't matter the title and name they gave it. It is still all systemic acidosis, whether the muscles, nerves, or whatever is affected. Who cares? It has to be remedied or life is not good and you continue to atrophy and decay at the cellular level. And then, of course, at that time they call that cancer at a certain point in time or, you know, you just rat your body down. So you're way too young to have all this. But I've been saying this to you young guys and gals. You guys work on your kidneys and adrenals irregardless because that's what's coming down the pikes here in everybody is weak kidney and adrenals. Well, what does that trip up? Look at the kidneys. Trips up your sewer system. That's not good. That skin, acne, that, that, that tumors, cysts, boils, you know, all that stuff. Not good, right? Uh, okay, then let's look at the adrenal glands. How about your steroids? That's mineral utilization, iron, zinc, selenium, or magnesium. Mag Manganese, magnesium, all require adrenal steroids. Then your sugar metabolisms. I mean, take a look at the adrenal steroids, what they do. Now you're also budding the autonomic nervous system, which controls literally everything that's movable. 
See, so when you guys are coming in with those tissues down, you're getting bumped, blowed back on all these other systems are going down too. You see why we're all in trouble with this? And we have to realize that your body is in systems, but these systems are working together. One system goes down, and we're just like a, a stack of dynamo, uh, 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 dynamos, or whatever you call those things. They keep going down, going down, going down. Dominoes. There you go. Dominoes. You ever see those dominoes where they have them go all over the place and going up and down and just a whole room full of them? Wow, those are pretty cool. Now, the depression, you have to go after that parathyroid, but you're going after that anyway with the uh, scoliosis. Uh, with symptoms of, see here again, here's symptoms of insomnia, and this is what I was saying. Generally, when you're up in here in the pituitary, that, 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 that there goes a pineal too. Again, I'm telling you, transverse colon, honey, you got to go after your bowels as well. But again, you can take the pineal, it's a pineal glandular, but it's better than melatonin. Again, you'll, you'll lose your pineal gland even more if you take melatonin. So, you want to take a pineal, I would take one or two capsules, one or two hours BS before sleep. You know, and it works real well and it helps you well while you're using upper circulation and brain and nerve getting up in here. You young guys and gals ought to use upper circuit brain and nerve. Really get up in that head and regenerate it and stuff like that. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. And um, um, you definitely want to get the adrenals, the kidneys, the bowels. Let's see what else you got here going. Fatigue, of course, brain fog, absolutely. I mean, all of these things are setups for MS. That's why you're seeing so much Lou Gehrig's in MS out there, you know, and Parkinson's. This is just these setups for all these things and bipolars and all this stuff that people are going through, unhappiness and, you know, uh, depersonalization and stuff like that. Well, you're going to go through a little of that when you lose the formed into the formless. But, um, you know, it's just, just uh, all over body pain. Well, that's fibromyalgia, see, and that's systemic acidosis. Pain is on the acid side of chemistry as a rule, or you're way up on the base side. So, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, also, I know you have done videos talking about taking glanders for increasing your height. Is this possible at my age? I'm not sure. Only thing I can say is you've got to use it anyway to trip up the parathyroid and to get that pituitary in a state of health. And if it does, then you can let us know and we'll know that a 24-year-old can actually still grow. Uh, I know for sure up to age 15 I can. I've done that to age 15-year-olds and stuff, so I know I can do that. But uh, up to that point, I don't know. You know, again, you guys are going to really help with a lot of good research out here. Because, you know, one person in a small cow town, real limited <laughs> at, at cases, you know, and this is all about cases because we're setting the precedence for the future of an incredible healing system that people are winning all around the world getting their remedies and it's simply because we're addressing the cause of the problems and understanding the chemistry of life and of foods that you're eating and understanding how, how all that fits. Simple as it is, no big deal, you don't have to go to school all your life and, 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 and go into debt all your life just to be able to help people. No, 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 no. Now, if you want to be a surgeon or something like that, of course. Especially a microsurgeon. Oh, my God. I really respect microsurgeons. It's like, oh, my God. My God. You guys are incredible. Uh, let me see. This is it possible to any age? I, like I said, I don't know that about that. Also, would a lemon water fast be uh, effective for correcting my spine? Not for correcting the spine, for correcting the cause, one of the causes of why you have it. And that'd be the lymphatic, wouldn't it? Because you can, if you do not have any retention of an acid side of chemistry, then you don't have any really immune responses unless you have a pathogen or something. And that's really kind of rare because if you're a meat eater, you're going to invite proteolithics in anyway, the E. coli and everything anyway. If you have a culturing medium, you welcome the guests. Clean your medium, which is your lymphatic, your sewer systems and stuff. Clean the body out. There's no room for anybody. There's nothing in there for anybody to go for. There's no smell going out of you to, to pull in these people. So you got to see it's all planned in nature. 
Remember I told you about the show I was watching, a hunter show, I was just eating some restaurant and I was looking up at the TV and it was a hunter show. I went, oh, a hunter show, what I'm eating, you know? And so they killed this beautiful deer and they walk over to this deer, the cameraman and the hunter. Well, the flies were already there. Nature already beat the hunter to the deer. It's that quick when cells lose their electromagnetic energies. It's that quick that that signal is sent out there. And it's sent out there in your body as well to your immune cells to feed the macrophage people. But that lemon water would clean you out, honey. And you really need to get that lymph system moving. And that's where I would be going. Get yourself about a month, a month and a half. If you do a, a, a two-week protocol getting rid of the parasites and then you do about a month, then I would jump into that. That will give your body a chance to start getting things moving and stuff and you'll have a bigger kick from it. And I probably would only do it for a month and see how I do. Take a month break and do it again or you could keep going. I don't care. But you know, let me know what your guidance is telling you about that. Uh, how long would I need to do this and what would a glandular when, and would I take you know you just head off you know what I would, what's your name uh, Lynette you know Lynette I just take off take off for Wellville don't even think about it you're, you're too intellectual about it right now don't even worry about time because I can't tell you time that, that, that is one thing none of us can tell anybody because everybody's at a different level emphatically. Everybody's at a di different level emotionally. And emphatically, I'm talking about the different levels of kidney uh, uh, health and, and genetics and adrenal health and genetics. So this is one thing. Time isn't on our side. I've seen MS. I thought you'd clear my I've seen some people on YouTube suffering for extended periods of time with MS that they shouldn't have been. So I don't know. You know, I mean, it's uh, other people are popping right up. So, ah. Uh, there are a lot of a lot of differences in all of us, individual formed. So I don't know. You know, we just you just keep working at yourself, you get happy, you release all things, you don't let the past bother you, the past is dead. That's why you're here now. So whatever happened to you in the past, you erase it. Because it doesn't matter. It's in the formed worlds. You're a formless being which needs nothing because you have everything. When you're informed, then you've got to have protection. You've got to have your 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 shelter. Depends what level you're on. Some levels you don't need shelter like that. You're you're almost formless. You know you're only formed that you can really see through the causal worlds. That's physical, astral, causal. So there's three bodies that are truly formed that you can really see. When you move into the universal mind or the pure mental worlds, you lose form. Form really takes place in the causal worlds where you, where duality is really experienced like this. Not so much in the in cosmic consciousness or in the pure mental worlds because it's just such a thin line between consciousness and the mind that um, you know you get tripped up there real easy. The separation of pure consciousness and that simple separation of uh, individualization. You really see individualization here quite there's a car, truck, man, woman, glass, you know, here. But as you merge more toward the formless, things merge more. And things feel less individualized and more one. It's a natural sensation that you get as you start out of body traveling or you start losing your attention on the formed you start perceiving and feeling the other. Some of you that have done LSD or window pane or mushrooms might have had that sense because as you move into the formless, the the all the answers to the world start flooding into you. You start seeing things and information that you you've never knew that you didn't know you knew before. It just everything starts flooding in on you. It's amazing. It's literally amazing. But you, it has to keep itself in the formed away from that or it can't have a satisfactory formed life, which is how consciousness learns about itself is, is, is expressing that. And of course it expresses itself through form. That way you can have activity and differences. If it's not, everything's the one again. So it's easy to understand if you look at it that way. Uh, so thanks a lot, sweetheart, Lynette, and take off after this.
You know, but it's not difficult. Don't make it a big difficult thing and don't worry about it. Your, your spine trick, but you do have to get in up here. And I would. Because, again, not only are you talking about you know, acidosis in the head and the weakness in the bowel and all this kind of stuff and in the pituitary itself. And the problem is you don't know the genetic level of that weakness too. So that's where the eyes have it. I'm telling the eyes have it for you particularly, Lynette, because you need to see the bowel and up here above the bowel wall at 12 o'clock. Remember that? And take a look at that. Go back to those videos and look at that. But upper circuit brain and nerve would be one I would have. And you really want to clean up the sinuses because this is, of course, how you walk down the road of brain lesions. Is frying, you know, acids frying on your brain. Well, we have a bit of a low one here. Dr. Morris, I stumbled across your YouTube channel and was hoping you might have some advice for a recent psoriasis sufferer. Yeah, matter of fact, I should have a video up there, my friend, on skin and psoriasis and stuff like that. I've done a lot of that. I've started to show signs of moderate plaque psoriasis from about a year now. Oh, boy, if that's all the further you're into this, you can turn this around pretty good, you know. We've had it so bad, I mean, it sounds gross, but I've had people squeeze their skin and pus come out like whipping cream. You know, this is the, this is the, 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 the sewage, the lamp, the stench. And that's it. you can tell it's the sewage because it's stench, you know. And this is just this is putrefaction, fermentation, and people like to eat that. Ah! Ah! But you know, this is the sort of thing that is why you want to keep your body clean. And uh, the connection, of course, to your cirrhotic or to your uh, skin is going to be your kidneys and adrenal glands. Always know that. This is the center hub of your lymphatic system. And if you don't fix those, you don't fix your lymph system. You can get yourself sweating and stuff like that. If you have real bad psoriasis or, or acids on the skin where you see it just breaking down your skin, you know, take a lot of salt baths. Get Celtic salt, Himalayan salt, real salt, whatever salt that's a full-bodied salt. Take a salt bath now and then. If you're by the ocean, take a dip. That's how I used to be able to keep the pain and, and keep things down and keep the healing a little helpful with that. Um, I have tried numerous treatments, diets, vitamins, etc., to no avail because you're not you're trying to treat it, man. And just what you said here, I've tried numerous treatments. And that's the thing. Even the herbs, you don't want to use that. You want to understand what regenerative detoxification is. That's what this site is about. Regenerative detoxification. That reminds me, i got to tell her that. But you want to... Uh, Yeah, you want to, uh, this is all sewage oozing out your skin, and your, t your skin is trying to make up for what your kidneys aren't doing. So you got to fix the kidneys. Once you get the kidneys filtering, remember we talk a lot about that. Well, I don't have any picture. Well, yeah, I do. I have a, a picture right here. Remember we talk about these, the filtration of the urine and the sediment in the, in the, in the urine? You got to get there. And when you get there, you'll start to see then the relief from the skin. Now, you can get yourself sweating, but you want to take a look at your thyroid, basal temperatures under your arm. If you're in the low, uh, uh, low 97s and down to the 96s, sweating is going to be a little more difficult for you. And that's going to tend to want to hold these systemic acids in there. And then, of course, the blowback is either, uh, you can put any name you want on it, to be honest with you. Psoriasis, acne, dermatitis, I don't give a who what name you put on it. It's still the same sewage, and it's acidic. And if you don't get it out of the skin, as subcutaneous areas and stuff, it'll still break down your skin. Your skin is cells, and you're damaging your cells. And again, this is how you get your basals and your squamous cell issues. You know, the, cancer is nothing but a degenerative cell. And if you look at a cancer cell, we should have it on our website now, hopefully. You'll see all the proteins that have attached themselves to the cell, and then all the, the, the immune response of mucus trying to stop it. And that's just what a cancer cell looks like. You could use the word amyloid plaque. Now, we teach you that in school, the mucoid or amyloid, you could use either one, but we use, uh, the medical profession use amyloid plaque in referring to the plaque in the brain, but it plaques all through you. And it's not just the brain, it plaques all through you, and then your symptoms are always what they are. 
in the bow, we, when that black matter plaques all on the wall from, you know, white flower products and stuff, we call that mucoid plaque because it's on the mucosa, and it's tend to be a little mucousy plaque. But the same stuff can plaque through you. And you can continue to get black stools out of you for a long time. You know, this stuff gets gnarly inside of us. And once you realize how gnarly, and some of you guys have seen some, we get pictures from what you guys are sending us. Well, I forget who it was. One of you guys sent us that big thing you got out of your bowels. About about five foot long almost. It looked almost as long, long as your whole colon. And he you know, pick that right up out of the toilet and stuff. That was impressive, you know. Jensen used to get that stuff out to people too, you know. And it took the shape of your colon. This stuff's got to get out. And when you see that, you realize, hey, this is why malabsorption. Yeah. And add that to interstitial lymphatic constipation. Add that to inside the bowel wall, the spaces around the cells that make up the bowel wall. When they get constipated, that's your sewer system. Remember, remember, 80% of interstitial fluid is lymph. You can call it interstitial fluid, but it's lymph, only 20% blood. So you can see that when 80% of that fluid becomes stagnant, blood has a hard time feeding the cells because those spaces are free spaces. See, so when you really look at that, you begin to really see what's up here. and It's not difficult to understand then how you reverse that. A lot of you guys are really getting this. My brother has this condition quite severely, yet my parents do not show any symptoms. They don't have to because this isn't a disease. This is something that you're the downline from your parents. But I'll tell you this, your parents definitely has kidney and adrenal weaknesses. Not to the point where it's, it's blowing back on them that they can see it, but they could have tumors growing in them and stuff like this and they'd never know it. Uh, they will someday because they're the head to give you this. But you, you don't have to have a line of that. It's just like you don't have to have a history of breast cancer. Give me a break. You're just a downline in kidney and adrenal weaknesses. That's all it takes to stop filtering and you're done. On that side, it takes, takes a few years, but after a while, and that's why when you get up into these higher stages or you can start getting hardness and these get really bad or they get like this poor soul. Remember this one? Keep showing it to you. Your sewer system has been backed up for years. So you ain't going to walk in there overnight and clean this. You know, no, no matter what. You're, you're going to it would take a while to hydrate, get into these small interstitial spaces around all your cells so you can't get frustrated. It takes time. And then, of course, as the body swells from this, these interstitial spaces also get closed off even more. So, again, you know, it's just, oh, when you really understand what you're up against. But look at how fast, really, when you understand what's up, how fast the body does work in using the fruits and the berries and the melons and the herbs, how fast you can get your remedy if you understand the years and the genetics it took to get you there. I'm impressed at how God has had that, he can fix itself so fast like that. But you're trying to treat this and you can't treat it. You have to go back and understand how you're creating this and what weaknesses you started out with in life to start this. And we're back to the lymphatic system, which in, we teach the kidneys are the main eliminative organs with the skin of the sewer system. The skin is the largest eliminative organ you have. So when, <coughs> excuse me. So when you start to see stuff on the skin, this is an eliminative organ. What's up? What does your skin eliminate? And you can't go to the medical community and ask them because they just, oh, I don't know. you got to understand that you have metabolitic waste that you create daily, hourly, and minutely. you got a, a metabolitic waste from the burning of fuel. And our fuel is carbon. And of course, you've got, you got byproducts created when you digest your foods, but that goes out the canal, most of it. This is systemic waste or systemically unused nutrition and all that that implies. Parasitic waste. So you, you've, got to have, uh, you've got to have a way to remove metabolitic cellular waste, and you can't dump it into the blood. That is stupid because blood is base. Metabolic wastes are acids. That's simple. 
You have two different sides of chemistry and two different systems that handle the predominance of each side of these chemistries. Can't expect one, one fluid to handle two separate sides of chemistry with separate ionizing factors and stuff? Nope, not going to happen. So you got to understand that the second system is important. Thank God for the University of Virginia people and they, that other uh, the lady that found the glymphatic system because at least now uh, that that's created an awareness and a looking into and opened up that door to to let them understand what we're talking about. Because till now they don't really understand. They don't they don't get what we're talking about completely. Some of them do. We have a lot of good medical doctors coming and working with us, but not a lot. And once we, once they understand, then we have the best of all worlds. We can start titrating off of pharmaceuticals and changing the pharmaceutical company's consciousness, hopefully. I don't know. Those guys are pretty, pretty interesting. That one guy that bought the pharmaceutical company and jacked up the prices uh, four or five thousand percent, he didn't care. You know, these, these aren't souls that are ready to, to journey on right now. They're too busy playing in the field of dreams. And they will be playing for quite some time. Don't be one of them. I am 48-year-old male, non-smoker, average weight, non-drug user, but I do take uh, uh, Elizabethanil, uh, 5 milligrams for a little hypertension, are we? Yep, fake your depth. All right, I mean, you're talking about kidneys, my friend. Kidneys and adrenals, you got to fix them. There's another thing you might want to do, you and your brother. Get you a lab work on uh, um, your metabolic uh, uh, lab work and take a look at your um, um, creatinine. You want to get your, even if you can get a lab just to do your creatinine and take a look at that because to have higher blood pressure, you're going to, you're starting to lose your kidneys. And this is the, this is what you want to look at. Generally, it's low blood pressure for a while. Okay. Okay. Uh, generally, it's. Not here. Huh? Chit-chat, I got it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, generally, it's low blood pressure at first and then switches to high. So now that you're having high and you're 48 years old, now you're getting in trouble. So you want to you want to take care of this and then balding can follow and all kinds of things can follow here, my friend. You want to stop this. So, uh, and your brother, you really wants to go after this. You know, let your brother review this video because these are all very curable. Now, to get to this, guys, he also takes 10 milligrams of melatonin nightly for sleeping. So he's all involved. He's all involved up in the sinuses and head area. And listen to the last video. Who is this? Uh, this is Brian. Brian, listen to this last video because I was talking about the same thing up in the head stuff. Got to get this stuff out. Your bro, too. Got to get this stuff out. Your bro needs to get going on this as well. Now, again, when you start detoxing, your skin can look worse. Don't get upset. Understand what's going on and move through that, and you'll be glad you did. Freak out, and you still will be fighting this. Now, understand when you start cleaning your car out, stuff's going to start coming out. And skin and kidneys are your two ways to come out, or your belly button, your mouth, your nose, your ears, or oozing through the skin. Or a pimple or boil popping up out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. But shift away from that melatonin, my friend. Get on the pineal glandular. It's 50 milligrams. And you want to do one or two, two out, one to two hours before sleep. Then at the same time, this also tells me a possible pituitary. Just what we were talking about the lady before you. You want to take a look at this because this is your common weaknesses. And after a while, you guys, and you see these cases, you'll have them. You will be some of the smartest healers on this planet, bar none. So you want to really look at this because these people are having problems with their bowels. I mean, genetically speaking, these young folks are having GI tract, horrible GI tract problems. Their nervous systems are down because of the adrenals. Kidneys and adrenals are way down in these people. And of course, now you're seeing a lot more pituitaries are down. People are either too tall or too short anymore. Uh, the little people are growing. So you have so, so much affecting us. This doesn't have to be. We're creating all this. We can turn all this around. But we're creating all of this by our chemistry that we decided to interface with. Eat, drink, breathe, and what we put on our skin. 
And that brings me to another thing. I wouldn't treat this. You you don't want to put anything on your skin to treat this unless you use a grapeseed oil. I don't know about an olive oil, but a grapeseed oil would be a better oil. It's very nutritive and healing. But again, you're looking to help buffer acids. The only reason you'd really be doing the oil and also maybe get some nutritive flow to some of these cells that you're burning. But um, the, the whole gig is acid. So the oil, that's why the cannabis oils are work. That's why all these oils work because they're anti-acids, anti-inflammatories, which is basically antacids. However, they're not detoxifiers. And you've got to understand that that's the prime focus is regenerative detoxification because you not only have to clean your lymph system and get it filtering, you've got to regenerate the skin. And it will nicely. That's the beauty of all this. So I'm seeing a bigger picture, aren't we guys? We're seeing a bigger picture. It's not just a little serratic type stuff coming on the skin. Look at all the other stuff popping up here. Can't sleep, you know. So you're looking at all these other things. <clears throat> Ooh, come on out, baby. <clears throat> Uh, currently, my regimen is total sugar avoidance. No grains, pasta, or anything that breaks down into sugar. Well, every carbohydrate does, my friend. So you can't avoid fruits, berries, melons, or, or vegetables. And they all break down into sugar. Uh, so you can't avoid those. But the pastas and the grains and things, these are all acidic. And that's why you want to avoid them. But they're also polysaccharides or disaccharides, meaning they're multiple sugars. So you're eliminating your, your multiple sugars, your polysaccharides, in place of monosaccharides. You cannot eliminate sugars out of your life and live. Because sugar's a fuel. Uh, you, to, to eliminate sugar out of your life is to say, make a statement that I'll never put gasoline in my car again. Well, good luck driving it. You don't go nowhere. Sugar is fuel. Sugar is energy. Sugar is ATP, ADP, and AMP. Adenosine tri, mono, and diphosphates. These are energy factors to cells. Without those... <laughs> so, you got to get your thinking changed a little bit. You're avoiding the starches, not the carbohydrates. You're avoiding the starches, not the carbs. And starches are dyes and polysaccharides. And you want to avoid acids, acid forming foods big time. You want to avoid anything that's gluey sticky like grains. Even your quinoa and, and millet and things. Base grains, still grains. Nothing alive here. Now, he eats lots of leafy greens, vegetables, ginger, and turmeric. I get that. And if you were a horse or something, I would think that was a good diet. But you're not. You're a frugivore and you got skin problems. Fruits, berries, and melons. And you're probably not going to like it when you go on them because they're going to kick up the lymph system and your skin could look worse. Okay. What's in has to come out, Brian. What's in has to come out. And these are acids. And when they're out, your skin will look beautiful. And you got to fix up here, man. You just, you, you guys. These are very important things. You see the kind of, uh, you know, I've just got two cases right here I got to go home and do. I've got a lung cancer, now metastasized to the bones, and I got another cancer here. What are these? These are just two in a stack I got at home this tall. And I've got to get these out because these guys have no time to diddy dally, they have no time to play games or waste. No time to sit there. Is this vegetable better for me or this fruit? They have to trust and move forward. Lots of burdock root. I agree with that one, baby. You're right on with that one. And you could get some burdock leaves. We got the burn formula. I put the burdock leaves in there. Um, oh, John Kime is a lover of burdock leaves, but John, you didn't put them in your bird salve. No beef or pork. How about no meat whatsoever, man? Any any meat whatsoever is going to trip you up. Your skin's going to look like crap. So you don't want any dead animals at all. Fish, chicken, beef, pork, ostrich, kangaroo, rattlesnake. Who cares? Nothing, honey. No dairy whatsoever. That'd be the worst thing you could do. Anything that smacks of milk, cheese, cottage cheese, ice cream, yogurts, you might as well just 
enjoy your psoriasis but watch it get worse and worse and worse because that's the worst thing you can do no wonder you're like doing dollar there I can tell you we all are no gluten no grains that's proteins gluten is a protein no proteins my friend you got too many already uh, fruits or veggies with a low glycemic index who cares about the sugars you want you want your watery fruits your astringent fruits because you want to stringe and get on your lymph system if you want to be free of this and it's easy we've had thousands of cases of this man it's not like we're ignorant on this we have thousands of cases of this one uh, daily sunshine with moderate exercise agree with that one for sure daily vitamins fish oils another 6,000 milligrams of vitamin C no way in holy hell would I do that you're going to lose your calcium and you're going to end up with scoliosis because I have a feeling you're going to end up with some parathyroid pituitary problems as well. Just like the lady before you. Now remember, vitamin C is ascorbic acid, so you're putting more acid into your body. Forget vitamin C. Get your fruits, berries, and melons, and now you have flavonoids. Vitamin C is your acidic partner of flavonoids, and it's not a good partner. It needs the family members. So you really need the flavonoid complexes, man. And to get them, get them right from your fruits, berries, and melons. You don't need to hit it with vitamin C. Not going to help you. Could even exacerbate this problem. Fish oil could help you only in masking the acids. Wouldn't do the fish oils. Get into grapeseed oil and rub it on your skin. Uh, vitamins, get it all your nutrition from your living foods and go on a 100% raw food diet. You want to correct some genetics here. This, Brian, this isn't just about lymph toxicity. You're dealing with genetics here. Got to fix them. Don't fix them. Your life isn't fun. And you're not that old of a person. Skin cream with hemp and borage oil. See the oils? You could use Mary Gladstar's cream. Boy, she's got some nice, but you don't want to treat this. You're eliminating. You want to keep that skin eliminating. If anything, sweat might not be pretty for a little while, but you're moving these acids out. And when you sweat, then wash yourself. You need to shower daily or twice a day, by the way, Brian, when you're detoxing and get these acids off of your skin and out of your subcutaneous and uh, um, dermis areas. I wanted to see if perhaps you might be able to offer some suggestions. I am in dire need of help. Suggestions? We do this all day, Brian. I don't want to take any type of chemical or steroid, but the pain, you need to look up our videos on this, my friend, and look at that. But easy to do this. Easy to get rid of this, Brian. But your focus has to be strict and on point. I mean, if you're going after anything, don't you put your whole being into it? That's how you should do with this. Put your whole beingness into this. Take it on. Wear it like you wear a new suit of clothes. Get on that Brahma bull and ride that baby. Whatever it kicks you. You know, win the day. Ah, oh, win the day. Hey, Paul. How you doing, Paul? Hi, Doc. Absolutely love your passion. Love you too, Paul. Uh, it's so captivating. Well, you know what? We're here to conquer, baby. We're here to conquer this negative force of this world. It's gotten a little too strong, had not it? So it's such a warring friggin' planet. We need to turn around a little bit. Not going to change all of that, but you can infuse it and make a huge change, you know. Uh, these material worlds swing pretty far on the pendulum on positive and negative, on duality, you know. So, you know, the cycles are going to always dictate very bad times and very good times. And so you have to live through that a little bit. But during these, uh, these, the in-breath time of God, so to speak, is when those that are ready are to awaken, and that's why we're here. Obviously, I'm lacing this, these talks with your key to awakening, and then you're done. And that's a cool thing, and there's a bunch of you that are ready to awaken. Um, I, I plan on doing a marathon after I detox and rebuild my body. Hell yeah, baby, and do it while you're on the fruit level to do one before well get yourself all on fruit for about a month or two and take off and see what you get i think you're going to be impressed pop up that adrenal gland you know so you got those neural transmitters for the neural endurance mm -hmm. and uh you know don't use any while you're in just be in that now that's where you're tapping the highest energy you can is in the now when you're in the mind and you're thinking you're not tapping the highest energy matter of fact thought dissipates energy 
So there's a lot of little cool, clever ways that you can maintain and sustain energy and just keep on going. Don't get tired. Don't get fatigued because you are going on, baby. And you're not restrictive because you don't have high acidosis. You might be creating a lot of acid. That's why after a run you detox. Why? Because look at all the lactic acid you created with all the muscle activity. But then you also created oxidation and you create all kinds of things. So you have all of those byproducts and these are acids. So doesn't it always make sense that after a hard workout and stuff that you get yourself on an alkaline flush? Absolutely. That's what uh, football players are supposed to be doing with Gatorade. However, the lie is that Gatorade's pH is 2 point, what, 6, 5, 7, 7, 5? That's not an alkaline flush. So it's not helping these guys at a level it could and re-empower and reinvigorate them quicker. Mm -hmm to the muscles and everything else. So it's a pseudo false sense of hydration. Yep. Uh, before I do, what would be the best fruits to eat before and after? The watery ones. You know, the watery ones. Because they lend them energy quickly and powerfully to the muscles. And when you get out of, um, you get these uh, lymphatic restrictions out of you, and you get your neurotransmitters up and your adrenals popping. Holy moly, man. I mean, you just don't get tired. I mean, I burn the candle. I'm, you know, I back and forth between 100% raw and once in a while some cooked vegetables. Sometimes I cheat a little on a cookie or a piece of candy here and there. I love it. I don't care. And, and so I burn. Like I'm up probably, I might get three hours a night sleep at best at most and I can keep burning and burning and burning and burning and burning you know and I got to be careful because my body can't you know because as you tap into yourself as the formless your bodies are still formed and you can fry them so you have to be a little careful and metered how you do that some of you guys are learning what I'm talking about many of masters burn themselves pretty bad uh, so definitely fruits before and after you got that watermelon definitely afterwards we're gonna do a good watermelon flush but beforehand grapes boy they power you up your mangoes things like that absolutely could take a, a little dose of uh, ultimate immune a little ginseng and antler <laughs> uh, any supplementing like kelp or your superfood ho 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 yeah you know, our superfood two been I think it was our superfood two. It could have been number one, but I think it was number two. Tony Bertelli, he's of the Letterman. He had Letterman, the only one that's the original Letterman. And at the time, my sister's husband's son was one of the Letterman. Now he is uh, took Paul Revere and the Raider. He took, uh, what's his name, Lindsay's place. And so he's, I think he's the lead singer, or at least one of them, in Paul Revere and the Raiders, which I love those guys. I had a band back then. Of course, we did a lot of the Paul Revere and the Raiders and their actions and stuff. But... Uh, Tony Bertella, when he was telling, he was down here doing a gig, and he was telling me we were meeting with him and good friends. And he was telling him that he said, "Man, I'm just ratted out. They've been they travel all the time. They're on the road mo most of the year, you know." And it's like he said, "Man, I'm ratted out." I said, "Well, take a couple of tablespoons of that." I said, "Just a couple of tablespoons. I only recommend a rounded teaspoon, but take a couple of tablespoons of this superfood and see how you do." Hell, Tony did about a third of the jar. Well, he's out there, they're singing on stage, and he jumps off the stage and runs through the audience, and he's running and singing and doing And so after the performance, we're talking and laughing about it. He said, my God. And so he called me after three days awake. <laughs> three days awake. It's like, damn. So I think Brian Adams, he pushes our superfood too, I believe Brian does, and a lot of the guys, because he's just a good power hog and especially when you clean yourself out and you're always on raw I was telling you Brian man God at his age man he's blowing them out I went to his concert up here in Clearwater the other day and my God Brian it was good to talk to him give him a hug again but man he's blowing it out but that's maintaining a state of health and Brian Adams has been on raw for a lot of years now and he's just a good state of health, you know, and he's just really blowing it up. Good stuff.
So you know you just that's what you do. You just you just get your body healthy, cleaned out on raw, and you do the best you can. Who cares if you cheat once in a while, whatever you do. If you can stay a hundred percent raw enough, go. How many years you can pile it on? You got my love and gratitude. You know, because this is a tough world and I've had a long learning curve. A lot of you guys are ready for this. And some of you guys have taken this already out there further than I did. I just I love you guys. It's good stuff. And that's what it's be. You know, we want to be a good, powerful group. Ethical, uh, uh, moral, uh, uh, humble. Remember, humility goes a long way. Goes a long way. Because you're just talking to yourself when you're talking to a friend. Remember that. When you're talking to your animals, you're talking to yourself. Remember that. When you're talking to the plants, remember that you're talking to yourself. You all come from the same source. Okay, remember the Jolly and Rumi syndrome. See everything as God. And you'll have a buzz you can't believe. But thank you, Paul. Thanks a lot. Many thanks to you, my friend. But... You know, really dig in there on those fruits and flush with the watermelons and stuff like that. But that's the cool thing on our side of the fence. Holy moly. And you know, it's like our politics in this country. You can't have two opposing views in a world where you have Arlington Cemetery full of guys and gals who fought for a republic. And you can't have another uh, 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 a group over here that's socialist that fighting for to change a republic to a socialist world. That's going to be hell to pay. It'll never happen. And the war, well, there'll be another war, internal war, as a, a federal judge once said. Because you, the, the spiritual people won't allow, uh, God won't allow its individuality to be snuffed by its other side. You know, its side of freedom, you got one side of the coin is free and the other side is socialism. But that's the fear that the negative forces breed. The need to polarize and become one, but under the guise of socialism. So it's just, it's tough. You always maintain individuality and freedom. Remember 11-11. Be an individual, but be one with all things. Because you already are. But as an individual, and that's the beauty of why creation exists, so everything, so it can individualize itself and enjoy its individualities instead of killing its individualities. So, wakening up is a good thing to do. Oh, my ear candling testimonial. This is one ear. I use two candles on the same ear. It's the third time this week, so stuff was already coming out, and still, I could do this. I am currently going through a flu. Good. You guys are so smart. So, I'm using it as an opportunity. You guys are so good. Tomorrow is going to be orange juice only day and oranges at night. Smart. Uh, feel free to use, and please keep my identity discreet if you show. I don't see any identity here. Good. Good? Yeah. Look at this stuff. This is only two candles. Uh, generally, we had a nurse here doing five candles per ear because as you loosen and loosen all this stagnant lymph, it pulls her right up out of there. And you can get a boatload. Look at all this, this lymph and, and wax out of here. It's just lymph. It's just... It's just uh, a glomulated lymph, you could almost say. That's what acidosis does, is create thick earwax and stuff like that. Good job. And say if you have children that have uh, 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 ear pain and stuff like this, you can candle the ears and help them. I only wish my parents had this. I didn't, of course, you know, I'm raised up lots of milk. Lots of milk. And so uh, I always had sinus and, and head and everything. And it's like, God, I wish they didn't know that. I always had earaches. My grandfather is my dad, grandfather actually, but blew smoke in my ear to try to cut it down. And really no help. No one knew a mullion and fenug or um, uh, a garlic and stuff, but 
just the ear candling to help relieve and pull that out and it oils and antacid see it, it, it's too bad we don't know these is true ER stuff these are true emergency things that you can use at home and save yourself fix yourself up keep cleaning yourself out and bring your your vehicles right into the Wellville station yep I'm ready to go up and up <laughs> Good job, man. Good job. Shouldn't be afraid of the natural things. This is the feel-good side of life. This is where nobody dies and feels good. Now, again, if you're advanced, advanced, advanced at your time, enjoy this. Even some of you guys at a stage four lose your fears, guys. Because I'll go for you. I won't take your, your, your cycle for you. But I'll be glad to step off of this rock. Let me tell you, you, you uh, passing is just withdrawing your attention more and more and more, and you'll find it coming into another body. You'll find yourself moving from this field of dreams into another one. It's that simple. Jensen, we've talked to Jensen out of body, and he says, just like walking across the street, he told his, his wife, who, who was still living, she's passed now, but... Uh, said, honey, it's just like walking across the street. And it's just what it is. You're just po your attention is being removed because your, your foreign body cannot handle your consciousness anymore. You can make it. You can get it healthy too. But if you've got it to the point where it's broken down so much, you're going to lose that body. All your glue is your attention is going to be pulled out. Feel like you're going through a tunnel. And your attention is being pulled into your, your astral body. Now, whether you come back into another physical body or not, that's your journey. And, well, however you are. But understand that passing is simple and you should not have any fear. Your loved ones that are around you in this world are also astral world as well. In other words, take a look at your... For you, for you married people, take a look at your woman or your man and realize that they have an astral body right now, right now. They have a causal body right now. So when I'm looking at a human, I see a human body, but when I pull back, I see an astral body, I see a causal body, and if I, if I step back and I'm talking to you directly, I'll see you. I'll see you. These are just bodies that you pull back into because you already have them. Nothing to fear. Fear the unknown, so become the known. And you have all the answers within you. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. Lewis. Hey, Lewis. I quit all drugs, medicines two years ago. I did 10 days water fasting. I still have uncontrolled high blood pressure. I had two heart attacks. They gift me with two, is that stints? My question is, if I can have these stints removed, Dr. Morris said that foreign objects in the body is a crime and only give problems. Also, my gallbladders have been removed. I am about to start fasting on grapes here in Virginia. It's hard to get grapes. Yeah, do your best. Uh, should I fast on other fruits with same result? I'm watching Dr. Morse's videos, learning a lot. Thanks, Lewis, my friend. Listen, mine. You've already had your gallbladder removed. Now listen, these stents, don't worry about them. Don't worry about them right now. You just hit on getting yourself healthy and why you had to have them. You had an occluded vascular wall. Now, was the occlusion calcified? Calcifications? Or was it lipid? Lipid, of course, much, much easier to get rid of. If it's calcium, it, the reason is the same. It's still acidosis. It's still your lymph system, and you lost your gallbladder already. So here's the thing, my friend. I would go on this fruit that you're talking about for sure. I don't care what fruit grapes are going to. I love the grape, the, the red grape fast. You might want to dry fast for a few days, or for 24 hours or something like that, but you really want to take off on a grape fast. Don't worry about your stents. 
you want to fix yourself up and I would get on a protocol here and I would stay on circulation formulas for a while upper circulation and lower circulation if you can afford it Lewis while you're going after your kidneys your lymph and your GI tract and everything else I mean you've had two heart attacks don't play around the next could be a stroke or another heart attack take you out take your body out so you want to save your body you're right on with the fruits so you want to do fruits, berries, and melons here for the next several months and get your lymph system moving because even though you're having a blood restricted problem, it is a lymphatically caused problem. See what I'm saying? It's not a vascular caused problem. It's a lymphatically caused problem in the vascular system. See the difference? And so that's why you're going after that. And you go after that limp, it'll open up these veins. All the edema that's also could be partly involved will open up as well. You'll keep yourself away from congestive heart failure. You can deal with the stents later, although I doubt. You know, it depends how much tissue grows around them. I doubt if they'll remove them for you. Maybe. I don't know that. That's not my field. But it's enough to say you, you can fix all of this now. The uncontrolled high blood pressure. One question. Is your high blood pressure swinging? In other words, is your high blood pressure going high, down to low? High, normal. High, normal. In other words, if you're relaxed at home, you're sitting around, it's normal. But the first time you get up, you do anything, but there it goes again. Now, remember what we talked about in past videos. This is a more serious problem, in my opinion, in the sense of location. Cerebellum. Cerebellum. And this it means your lymph is stagnant all the way up and that you have a blowback on you already. Pressure's building up. And there's no way blood pressure medications are going to stop this. Calcium channel blockers and all this crap. That's for kidney problems. Uh, this is this is your cerebellum and lymph stagnation in the cerebellum with him, which is now showing you the inflammatory response. Your vision is going to start being affected and things like that. Now that's if it's swinging. If you have high blood pressure and it's stable, that's why you're having the heart attacks. That's your kidneys, and of course they control what system? The great lymphatic system. And as long as you don't fix those kidneys, you're going to have, you're going to be in the road for tumors, strokes, heart attacks to start with, congestive heart failure, pulmonary edema to start with, lost gallbladders, you know, just keep on going down that road because that road, you're walking down the same road, just different body parts. So, I'm going to tell you, you're in a serious state and you want to get to a counselor or you want to get on the 14-week protocol, Lewis. Scrape, even even if you can get a, a few months going on that. But I would put you on a circulation upper and lower immediately. Uh, I would also get after those kidneys, adrenals, your bowels, and everything. Immediately start opening your doors and pulling out all these acids, which all the pressure and everything will start going down. Come on out, mucus. I've been chewing down on those mangoes. Oh my God. You remember the big mangoes? Nirvonic. Nirvonic. And I only have a few left. Nirvonic. Dear Dr. Morris, I have a good friend who experienced pre... I don't know what that is. Eclampasia during her first pregnancy. I'm not sure what that is, guys. We are talking about healing and raw foods now. Good deal. And she is seeking out how to fix the problem. She had dysplasia. Uh, now, and she is seeking out how to fix the problem before her second pregnancy. I've looked for other videos, but can't seem to find one specifically about this. Love and light. Thank you for always sharing the truth. Michelle. Michelle, I'll look this up and see what you're talking about here. I'm not sure what that is. 
uh, have to look it up. Is she having cramping? Is she is she have a, a dysplasia down there? What's going on there? I have to look that up, honey. I'll, I'll leave that out. Well, I'll tell you what. Then we'll talk about it. But anything like that that I don't I'm not familiar with the name of it. Uh, just remember, as tissue tissue is either acidic and inflamed or weakened and inflamed. Uh, tissue that is genetically weakened uh, has a tendency to to cause all kinds of things, from spasticity to prolapsing to to augmenting in shape and 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 size and everything else. So you, you just have to take a look at all that and, and see all that. But know that no matter what condition you're dealing with, that regeneration of the whole body, including the fallopian, to everything is at hand. Everything that cells has to be regenerated. Anything that's breaking down the cells, which is going to be the fluids, have to be cleaned and the appropriate eliminative organs so these metabolic waste can be removed. So anything in the genetic weak side has to be strengthened. And how you strengthen is you have to go to the raw foods because you're into magnetics and chemistry, right? And that's how you strengthen. But understanding it a little deeper for your spiritual people is consciousness. You are increasing the level of awareness of those cells. Uh, when you increase the level of energy that you're imparting to them. Because what is energy in quantum physics? Consciousness, awareness, intelligence. So as you feed the highest energetic food on the planet to people, you are feeding the highest intelligent food to people. And with the professors that we have that are looking at the chemistry of these foods, and some have the highest chemistry of any other food on the planet as well. And they're still simple, simple sugars. Water's wet, fruit is sweet. What can I say? Simple sugar, like vegetables, different chemical combinations, different species food, different species have different karma, different journeys, different levels that they have to deal with. The human's awareness is endless to skyrocket. They, all of that. We could go in for hours on that one. Sorry about that. But, uh, yeah, that's the direction that I would be going in. Uh, just what you're thinking. Raw. On a female, douching with the heel all tea is an excellent thing to do uh, for the vaginal canal, the wall. Atypical cells are, a lot of women walking around don't even know they have them. So just a two-week douche, one time a night, excellent to do that. Female reproductive formula, toning and strengthening. It's a progesterone formula. Um... Anything that deals with uh, cramping and uh, excessive bleeding, you're going to get into the thyroid, parathyroid glands. You're going to get into the pituitary gland. Anything fem female that way, it's irregular menses, you all know, is the pituitary again. This sort of thing. And that's how you go by strengthening tissues. And of course, you can look at the herbs that are all the um, tonics. That's how you strengthen them. Hi, Dr. Morris. My name is Jack. Hey, Jack. I've been dealing with brain fog, fatigue, sinus inflammation, eye floaters, tinnitus, dry eye, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. dry eyes upon awakening. Let's stop right there. You know, right there's your giveaway. Right there's your giveaway. Of course, you know what those other symptoms are anyway, but the dry eyes are the giveaway and the seriousness of it, Jack. This is a no-no. You ever heard of dry Mac, Mac D? Mm -mm. What side of chemistry dries you out, dehydrates you? <laughs> right on, the acid side of chemistry. All you're talking about here is tied to that side of chemistry and what system that you have down, Jack? The lymphatic system. Same system this whole 
systems on, not your blood system. These tissues wouldn't even be here. So you have a lymphatic system that's down, right? The brain fog, the fatigue. So one thing's for sure, what's down in him, guys? Adrenal glands, for sure, I can tell you right off. Sinus inflammation, he's packed up here and he's not draining, it's not breaking loose. So he's too acidic and it's dehydrating, it's becoming glomulating. And that's causing a cationic, cationic environment. The one initially of aggression, because acids are aggressive. If you stopped and looked at this planet and you said, which gender created the most wars and killed the most people, men or the ladies, not a hard question to answer, is it? And when you relate gender to chemistry, the males are the acids, the females are the base. You always need base dominance to keep the acid side in proper saturation and proper polarization and the whole words. There's ionization, but you have to understand there's saturation to this. There's all types of also homeostatic type of thinking involved as well. You just don't have the flipping and flopping. And you have to have stability in solutions and everything else to have stability in a, in a planetary environment with, with formed uh, creatures on it. So all those sort of things that the Creator has to put in action. So this is important, Jack. You've got to break this sinus loose because you've got eye floaters. This could be mucus. Get the eye wash and uh, get an eye cup. I would say I like 12 drops, but you know anywhere up toward 12 drops. You could put it right in the eye. I've got a lot of uh, people that just love to do stuff like that, but I like an eye cup. I like to walk it around, you know. But I put about 12 or so drops in a, an eye cup of water, skin temperature water, and open my eye and work it out. It's going to pull the mucus out of there. The floaters you don't want are parts of retina or pupil. Mm -mm. Oh no, that's deterioration and that's where you don't want that and that's where you're walking. And you're already getting dry eyes. Use that eye wash to start promoting blood and lymph flow. Get your sinuses going. Get on. I get on upper circ just to, just to make sure I'm not going to lose my vision here. And I would definitely get my sinus draining. Candle the ears. Get the bowels clean. Get the GI broom. Get the kidneys popping open. Adrenal glands. Get yourself open, Jack, because you're having a lot of trouble in places you don't want to in. That's one thing to have it down below in livers and gallbladders and things like that. It's another to have it right here in the hard drive and the visionary issues. Mm, okay, uh, dry eyes upon awakening and difficult allergies like dust mites and food sensitivities, which tells you immediately that your lymph system is stagnant and backed up big time. The minute someone says to you, allergies, sewer system's backed up immediately. I'm allergic to sewer systems backed up. I have allergic sewer systems backed up. And what is your sewer system? The great lymphatic system. And the eliminative organs of the kidneys, of the urinary tract, can't forget the bladder, and the skin are your eliminative organs of this sewer system which dumps sewage. Why you see your skin do what it does if it doesn't eliminate. And just think, your kidneys inside look just like that because it's burning them too. Now I don't drink alcohol anymore, but after a night of heavy drinking, I woke up with all my symptoms gone. <laughs> That's funny. Felt perfect. Isn't that funny? Well, you know, you just tied one on, stimulated everything, everything got moving, your alcohol and all that just, it just stimulated everything. This feeling lasted for a few hours, yeah, and then my symptoms came back even worse. Yeah, it's a problem. The steroids do the same thing uh, for skin things and stuff like this. It does the same thing, but this is uh, this is this is deep stuff, my friend. And you've got to get out of that. The tinnitus, that's just pressures that'll come out of there. But this stuff is you want to get this stuff out of you and fixed, guys. Anybody has stuff like this, the fog, the stuff. You know, you're you're moving yourself toward uh, dementia, Alzheimer's, balding, all of those things. Uh, eyesight gone, uh, MACD, which is 
you're in deep crap then you know all these things like this just not good so that then your quality of experience on this planet isn't good so is that worth a taste of a dead animal or a taste of something that you can't give up no nothing's worth that nothing's worth the taste of something you can adapt and change to that but nothing's no food is worth your death over that and pain and suffering Yeah, so fix yourself up. Get in. I would. I'd get on the first few kits anyway. Deworm yourselves and stuff like that, and then take off. See how they how the rhythm of these kits are, and then take off on your own. But I'd get on fruits, berries, and melons. How you work yourself to that? If you've never been on raw food, you want to start. Uh, you know, get to get fruits in the morning, a salad at lunch, and then maybe some fruits at night. Or if you have to do another salad at supper for a while, okay. But you want to start moving your meals toward a fruit, berry, and melon only day, and then the next day, and the next day. Even if you pick a big bowl of fruit, keep it in the refrigerator. And then whenever you need, you know, keep the lid on it and everything. And then when you need a bowl of fruit, dip out a big bowl of fruit. That's what I love to do. Walk around, and eat it. An hour or two later, you get out you another big bunch of fruit. Bananas, grapes, apples, peaches, pears, mangoes. You know what I'm saying? You can do that, or you can go on a grape fast, uh, any of these beautiful things you can do. You know, get on our website, check things out, you know, get yourself going on this. But you really want to get up there, get on the eye wash and get up in the head with upper circuit. You want to do some things to protect yourself from some things like stroke because you're not telling me that you have elevated cholesterol levels or anything yet. And if you do have elevated blood cholesterol levels, I would be worried. You would want to take a picture of your eyes and see if you have the cholesterol ring developing and things like this. Make sure you're not getting cataracts in the eye because these things are much more serious. This is the sign of extreme acidosis in the head area, and Jack, you and I, we don't want to go there. Okay. Uh, let me do one more here. Oh, this is Jeremy. Hey, Jeremy. Hey there, Dr. Morse. My name's Jeremy. I am emailing from New Zealand. One of my favorite places. Want to say thanks for all your videos? Oh, thanks, man. They are extremely beneficial for me. I am learning a lot. Many things. Oh, listen. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I really do, Jeremy. I'll tell you what, because it makes me feel good you guys appreciate this. It really does, because it's a lot of work, and and I just want to make sure you all get your remedy and the suffering get off of this friggin' planet. Whew. Too much suffering. Damn. I have questions. Uh... Would you think it possible for someone who has been born with no uterus or womb to regenerate one? Boy, that's an interesting question. Boy, would it, what would it hurt to try? I mean, we all need to go raw anyway, right? I mean, this isn't something we're doing and then going back to Deadville. We're, we want to live raw. So, yeah. You want it. Whenever you're talking about like a spinal bifida case or you're a case where, like we had one case, remember I told you a spinal bifida case, born without L4 and L5, two years on solid raw and beating it down, she has L4 and L5. So, you know, these patterns are there because the human body has that blueprint and pattern. These are these are all up in the causal worlds. So remember we our little talk, and there's a reason I'm telling you about this thing on energy and consciousness and everything else. Because as we move through these foods and everything, I'm going to relate how that is to you, and you'll understand it more. If you understand more how creation is put together, you'll start understanding how it all is. And it just gives you a, a, a way up over everyone else because you get to see truth now for what it is and you're not uh, uh, lied to or live in fear and losing your power and others controlling you and not having any direction or happiness in your world. That's not why you're here. You're here to have happiness and joy and your own journey and your own happiness. And too many of you ladies are codependent on your men. Got to stop that. Men are taking advantage of you too much. You ladies, you empower yourself again. You know, you give better love when you're empowered yourself. 
You know, it's too attached love when you're not. And it's the same thing. I'm very familiar. That's my problem. One kiss and oh, I love you. You know, attachment. Easy. But it, it locks you and binds you. Your relationships are much better when you live free and you're with that person because you enjoy the beauty of that individualized form and how that form's learned to express itself. Oh, I love the way you are. I love the way you look. I love the way you carry yourself. I love the way you see things. I love the way you interact. I love you always being positive and happy. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of mate we're all looking for. And, um, you know, when you feel good and you're eating those delicious tree-ripe, vine-ripe fruits, berries, and melons, that smile's coming even more. So, uh, let me see. Yeah, you want to be 100% raw, and I'm telling you, for our species, fruits, berries, and melons get way up there. Then, you might try the female reproductive formula. That's got some of the finest herbs on the planet. And uh, we're, I, I hope I still have... Um, uh, what's the one we're losing? It's being so, so wildcrafted to death. And we're, we have to take it out of our formula because we're conscious wildcrafters. And uh, we don't deplete the earth of herbs. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Um, oh, it escapes me. Uh, so many things going on right now. Um, uh, false unicorn. That mind will come back and give it to you if you just wait long enough, I guess. But false unicorn. And what a great toner of uteri and stuff. But anything that's a tonic like that in a toner could inspire cell proliferation and cell uh, activation. So who knows? You know, you're talking about con see when you're eating food, realize you're eating conscious consciousness. You're you're eating energy. You're eat you're seeing it as a chemical form, but look behind the chemistry and realize, oh, it's an electromagnetic form. Oh, well, it has to be the thought of God to have form because how did it have form and who thought of the form? See where I'm going with this? And so you have to have a mind to be able to image anything. See how that expresses out of the awe? The mind then expresses form, individualizes, and then categorizes, and then starts to create form. After, after who knows how long, this whole mass has learned how to create form. And then one form after another form after another form, and you just can't keep them. Everything is just constantly forming. Creation, very active ongoing constantly so you just never know and so when you're in, imparting these higher levels of forms into the body they regenerate they turn on cells and cell memories on these levels because you can't have a cell in your body that didn't come through the same mind and emotional worlds impossible you can't just have a manifested physical form without coming out of consciousness impossible impossible I hope I'm not getting too far out on you on this video. I apologize. I sometimes get carried away spiritually speaking, and you just uh, when you, you know if, if we can even get that, you're free. You then learn and have the keys of God consciousness, which man has sought for eons of time, and he sought the very thing he already has. The illusion of creation and the illusion of separation. There's no separation. It is illusionary. You're already home. <laughs> You're already home, guys. You're already home. I gotta go. But I love you guys and Thanks for asking all these good questions. You guys are really good. And again, I apologize if I got too way out there for you. Didn't mean to. But
I'll keep plowing the field. I probably won't get in here till Monday. I'll try If I can get in here Sunday, I'll have her set this all up. Well, if I can come in here and knock out an eight-hour video, I could probably catch up. Well, I'll try. I'll try. A lot of things are going on. But love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Is it kind? Is it true? Is it necessary? You know, you get a lot more done sometimes. A lot of times, action speaks a lot more than words. Mm -hmm. You can sit around and chew on the chew, but uh, get up and, and make action.